Gene therapy is a modern medical miracle. It was discovered in 1995, but unfortunately hasn't been used on humans very often. Gene therapy should be used more often because it helps sick people tremendously. Gene therapy is a treatment and procedure that takes a faulty gene, or sometimes cells, out of a sick person and replaces them with a working gene, or adds, adds things to the faulty cell, such as enzymes. All you need to do in this procedure is take out some of the cells from a sick person's body and expose them to the genetically engineered virus. That virus will correct what was wrong in the gene or kill the faulty gene. Gene therapy could even has the potential to eliminate cancer from a person's body. Some people fee feel that gene therapy is unnatural and that we could, could just continue to use traditional treatments, such as chemotherapy. But chemotherapy doesn't always work and is putting poisons into the patient's body in hopes of killing the offending cells. This brings me to my first point. Gene therapy causes far fewer side effects than many traditional, traditional methods now. If you were being treated for cancer with gene therapy, you would have to use, you would have, you would have a fault, you would have a few small procedures every couple of months or so with little to no side effects. If you were being treated with cancer with traditional methods, you would have to have radiation quite often as well as pumping nasty chemicals into your body. According to the National Cancer Institute, you would have to deal with over 22 side effects, including losing your hair and having to deal with awful nausea. According to Nature.com, one out of 2,000 patients receiving gene therapy develop side effects. This is a very, very small amount. While everyone who, does, who gets chemo or radiation experiences side effects, gene therapy is good because it has less severe side effects. Side effects. Another reason it is good is because many of the first trials have been successful. A quote by, Bri by Brandy Rochel in 1996 says, One of the first patients to receive gene therapy was a four-year-old girl with an immune deficiency disease. They took some of her white blood cells and exposed them to a genetically engineered virus. The cells were put back into the girl and they started to do the right thing. Now she leads a normal life after the procedure. This quote shows that doctors use gene therapy to have a four-year-old girl's cells produce the enzymes it needed to and do their job correctly. This girl has benefited from, benefited from the treatment for, greatly, and it was a very, and it was the very first trial. Another example from Utah University, University of Utah Health Sciences: In a small trial, researchers successfully used gene therapy to treat <coughs> hemophiliacs. After treatment, many of the patients made an improvement and had fewer bleeding incidents. Hemo, to being a hemophiliac means that you, that you, your blood doesn't clot. So. With having fewer bleeding incidents, these people were, were treated very well. This is important because it shows that gene therapy does work and can be very su successful. There is no alter alternative treatment for hemophilia. Gene therapy shows a lot of potential. We have lots of chances to improve and perfect it because it is new, though. Gene therapy is great and should be, and should be pursued because it has minuscule side effects compared to treatments now, and it has been proven very successful with its patients.